Hello everyone, Alex NOA Brundle. And uh, next up we've got a Princess 30 DS. Now this one has just came in this afternoon. Um, so you may not find her on our website just yet. Um, but yeah, she's a really nice example. Um, and probably the best one of these I've ever seen. Now the Princess 30 DS, I think there are about 900 of them built. And the DS part actually stands for Deck Saloon. Uh, which you can see in here. You've got the extra berthing available with the sliding patio doors. All original gel coat and very good for the age. She, she was built in 1985, um, so they are an 80s boat, but they do still keep up with the modern appearance. Very clean, shiny, and practical with that sedan style for all weather cruising. Wide decks each side. So getting around to the bow was nice and easy. Handrails all on top. High quality um, mooring cleats. Guard wires go all around to meet the pulpit. Now at the moment we have got a mud weight on, but there is still a bow roller just there as well. Twin horns. And it's high tide at the moment, so you can get a good look at the hull. Very good for the age. Looks very smart. Now on the transom we do have this bathing platform which allows you to moor stern on. There's a step just above um, to get into the cockpit. So let's go on board. So I'm inside the cockpit now. And there's steps leading out with handrails, making it nice and safe to board. Push pit rails go all the way around. Great if you've got kids, uh, keeping everyone inside, They're nice and safe. The canopy's clean, it isn't new, but it, there's lots of life left in it. And um, can't see any rips or tears, anything like that. So it's perfectly serviceable. And the windows are still quite clear. Beautiful day here today. So again, there's a exit point to port as well with the handrails and boat hooks. There's one stowed away up there as well. There's a gas bin, which has been used as a seat as well. Storage, just in here. You may have seen the shore power cable as well. There's also storage under each of these, um, each of these bench seating. If you have a look under here, there is just lift up hatches and mirrored towards the other side. There is another storage just in here as well, which has got a mini fender. Flooring is still good as well. And the engine is just under this hatch here, which we will get to in a minute. So I'll just kick off my shoes and we'll go inside. So we have these sliding doors that lead into the saloon, um, all on one level with the deck just here. Carpet's been replaced, very nice and clean. All this saloon has been refitted. And upholstery's been done, table added. So it's very smart. It's flooded with natural light in here, big windows all around, so you've got excellent visibility um, when, when driving. But also there is a sunroof, which is brilliant on a day like today. And lets air in and also lets you get a bit of sun. So the cupboards have been replaced and there is a new fridge inside. We have a freezer compartment on at the moment it's a lovely chill coming out of there and just next to it a cupboard space as well so all the linings very clean it's a good usable space this social space because you can have the doors open so if you have got more guests you can socialize all sitting together now underneath the l-shaped seating here there is storage, 
and it's all been recently made. See all the woods fresh. And she looks great. There's more storage underneath here as well. And the table's a good size. And to store drinks or food. And all of this lining is pristine as well. So she's not just a river boat, she can be used at sea as well. They have excellent sea keeping um, capabilities. She has just been on the broads um, for the last couple of years, but um, with the bigger engines, um, you know, you should be able to get sort of 25 knots out of her. Now the, the helm is to port, and you may see on here some shiny new Morse controls. And um, they have been replaced. They would have had the old um, TX controls before which are known for going really stiff. And in fact, it's got the Morse controls, which is nice and easy to go in gear. And um, yeah, it'll be a lot easier to control on windier days and give you a bit more confidence when cruising. Also, to help with the maneuverability, there is a bow thruster. So nice and powerful, actually. So great to have. Also on here we have the depth log. All the usual engine instrumentation, fuel tanks. Our gauge just on here. And the trim just here as well. So the steering position itself, the helm, the two seats. VHF just up here and you've got a good view with an opening window to your side here so if you do need to stick your head out the window to check behind you you can do that compass just on here as well so good usable space this and if you are cruising in the winter you can just shut the doors Fully enclose yourself, and there is, um, I think, gas heating on this one. There's a control just here. Yeah, so we've got Propex gas heating. What's we got on here? So just light switches and a battery gauge. I have left the bow thruster on, so we'll turn that off. And there's more switches, which is all labelled on here. So nice and straightforward to use. switch for the battery charger and some circuit breakers just in here as well. So moving down into the cabin, just make sure you step with your right foot first because that is a further drop. So again, nicely done in here. Flooring's clean, it's nicely done. Microwave just under there, tucked away. All that upholstery has been replaced. Um, no marks or anything like that. Very modern looking for the age. Linings spotless. And there's a second fridge just here. This table will drop down. You see the ledges over here to create another berth. So lots of space on this, so it could be used as a liverboard especially as you can fully enclose yourself and it's nice and warm. Galley to starboard, I'll just move the door out of the way. Cooker looks like it's been replaced. A nice shine on that. Twin sinks, very useful. And storage just above. You can never have too much storage on a boat, so that's great. And with a non-slip as well. There is blinds. You see better this side. So all the wood looks well cared for. A couple of marks here, which I didn't see because the door was open.
but it's a good amount of worktop space. Carpet linings look good as well. Now, to my right here, there's a toilet and shower compartment. And the shower is on the mixer tap just here in the wash basin. There is storage just in here as well. And full standing headroom so you can move around freely. Um, which is good for a boat this size. That's one of the great things about this boat actually, which I love, is the headroom you get. Even in the even in the forward cabin, as we go into here, you know, I've still got full standing headroom with a few inches uh, above my head as well. So again, all the carpet linings look great. Gray to give it a modern feel. One of the cushions up there. Now, a question we get asked quite frequently is how big are the beds? Have I got leg room? So I am five foot nine. I will just lay on this mattress. So plenty of space. And obviously you're going to be comfortable. And there is just a seat here. Perfect for just sitting in the evening, reading, um, just before you go to bed. And lots of light again, but still with the blinds, which you can close to be able to get a peaceful night's sleep. Hanging locker. And there is storage underneath the bed. I do apologize if you see my finger in the, in the video. Um, Left-handed, so I'm holding the phone in a bit of an awkward position. But really impressive boat. I don't expect we'd have this one for long. All the space inside is usable. Um, it's good to have a separate dining area next to the galley. It's all very clean, smells fresh. Um, so there's one that's ready to go. You shouldn't need too much to do to it. She's clearly been well loved by all previous owners. Windows look good. Can't see any signs of leaks, anything like that. But yeah, they've done a nice job of this. And lastly, we will go take a look at the engine. So the engine hatch, very light to lift, uh, made easy with these gas struts. As you can see, there is two fire extinguishers in the engine bay. Lots of soundproofing, so when you are cruising, she should be nice and smooth. Um, we have got twin petrols in her, um, twin Volvo Pentas 200Ds, and they are VA engines. Look very clean. And I think there's a good amount of service history to go with them as well. And they were serviced earlier this year and the legs uh, had a full service in 2022. So the bellows changed, oils, oil done, that sort of stuff. A closer look at them. So if you do take her out to sea, um, these should achieve up to 25 knots. Um, due to the age of the boat, maybe a little bit less, but um, certainly could aim to get around that. All very accessible in the in the engine bay. Um, so if you are doing any servicing work yourself, um, very easy to access, um, to change filters, and that sort of stuff. Glorifier just to my left here. Batteries, I have a feeling the batteries were recently replaced as well. Again, I will confirm this. Charger on there. Just close up. So she's not on our website yet, but she will be over the weekend. Um, if you did want to pop over and have a look, um, I don't expect we'll have her for long, so be sure to get over to Brundle. If you have any questions, please give the officer a call. The, we are open weekend, Saturday 9 till 5, and Sunday 10 till 4. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and then you'll keep on track of other boats we've got coming in.
thank you for watching